Hi, I'm going to be answering the Paley's Watch analogy. I'm going to be answering it in the cases of the universe and biological evolution. Okay, so first we need to have a look at what the Paley's Watch analogy is. The analogy goes something along the lines of, you're walking along in the desert and you find a watch. Upon examining it, you find that it's complex. You conclude that it must have had an intelligent designer, an expert watchmaker that put this watch together. It didn't just bring itself into existence. At face value, this argument seems quite valid. But let's apply it to the universe first. The universe was not assembled from components, the purpose of which is to go together to create a universe, as the watch is. If you look at the components of a watch, you realise you put them together to make a watch, you can't just use any random bits of whatever. So the components themselves have been designed for the purpose. Also, the watch wasn't just wished into existence. If we're to believe that God created the universe, we're to believe the universe was wished into existence. A better version of Paley's watch analogy would be, you're walking along the desert and you find a watch. Upon examining it, you find that it's complex. You conclude, therefore, that there must have been some magic man who decided the watch will now exist and all of a sudden it appeared out of nowhere. I don't think you're going to find a single person who would back that up. Now in terms of biological evolution. They say that the complexity of a watch did not evolve just as biological life cannot evolve. Well, there is an enormous amount of evidence that evolution is true. But that's getting off topic. What I'm actually saying in this case is the reason you can't say the watch evolved to become what it is is because a watch cannot reproduce. This is a crucial factor of evolution. Reproduction is the whole basis of evolution, or at least reproduction with variation. You can't have reproduction with variation without reproduction and a watch doesn't reproduce. The design of a watch, however, has evolved over time. Originally people used sundials, then they started to go into mechanical watches and clocks. So, Paley's watch isn't valid for either the complexity of the universe or for biological evolution. Goodbye.